Luis Inácio da Silva assumed the presidency of Brazil this January 1st before the Brazilian Congress and accompanied by thousands of citizens. The details in the following report by Andrew Vieira and Sebastian Soto. A child, a black man, a woman, a worker, a teacher, an artisan, a cook, a disabled person, and a little dog, symbol of the Lula Free Vigil. Diversity went up the ramp of the Planalto Palace with the new president and first lady, Jan da Silva. It was the Brazilian people who passed the presidential band to Lula da Silva after his predecessor left the country. An unprecedented event for a historic moment. Speaking to the crowd, the president was touched when he talked about poverty, a priority challenge to be overcome. Families completas durmiendo en las calles, enfrentando lluvia, frío y miedo. They should be in schools, living the childhood they are entitled to. Unemployed workers displaying banners at the traffic lights with a phrase that we should all be ashamed by. Please help me. Pancartas con una frase que nos avergüenza a todos. Por favor, ayúdenme. On the first morning of 2023, a part of all Brazil was represented among the thousands that crowded Brasilia. You couldn't see where the line of the people who came to see the third mandate with their leader began or ended. Professor Jacqueline dos Santos traveled one day by car with her entire family to be part of the change that begins with the new year. Of respect, of respect for citizenship, of respect for education. That is why we're here and that is why education transforms and no one falls for education as Lula did. The new government will be composed of 37 ministries, culture, sports, racial equality, agrarian development will return. For the first time in five centuries, indigenous people will be represented on the front line of the Brazilian state. It is a restart of ensuring our rights and that Lula can provide spaces, which he is already doing with ministries and with rights, mainly with the demarcation of indigenous land throughout our Brazil. The government that takes office finds a country with 33 million hungry, 10 million unemployed and 62 and a half million people in poverty. In the midst of a present social crisis resulting from a past of anti-democratic attacks, the hope of a future to be built. It is a six-year struggle since the coup and in my house we remember because I came to Lula's first inauguration. As his first actions, President Lula da Silva maintained the payment of financial aid to the poorest and revoked the decrees that made arms purchases more flexible. Brazil needs food, not bullets. I will govern for 215 million Brazilians and not just for the ones who voted for me. I will govern for all of you, looking to our common bright future and not through the rearview mirror of a divisive and intolerant past. Governing for the most impoverished, preserving the environment, recovering international relations, 120 countries were represented at the inauguration. The new government took office promising unity and reconstruction for the next four years. Andre Vieira e Sebastian Soto, Telesur, Brasil.